your what's up bruh what's up bruh what's up bruh what's up bruh it's march it's been rough but yo you already know i'm on this devil may cry five for this edition of just talking i don't know what number but i'm gonna be playing the bloody palace mode i'm gonna be playing as the mysterious one v who's probably my favorite character out of the three to use at least i really like using dante also you know i did a stream i did a stream use playing this game but just i didn't play bloody palace my first time playing bloody palace and i think it's like a survival mode so we'll see how far i can get with uh v but yeah that ain't the point the point of this video is to talk about my website because you know what i don't really talk about it and you know what i put a lot of work in it so let's talk about it so my website is hold on I feel like i gotta sneeze my website is called um z3 gaming.com and that is where z3 gaming started i'm pretty sure i start i said where i where z3 gaming even started from was college took a advanced web design class and then for the project for a project we had to create a website about a business and i was like i'll just make a i don't know what kind of business i would make for a website thought about it your boy made a z3 gaming.com simple as that simple as that and then when i did make z3 gaming.com you know that that meant one thing and one thing only I had so much fun with it I was like I want to keep it up because it was it was easy to make it was easy to make the reviews I finished my I think I finished my website first I went over there I did my presentation or whatever and I was like ran through it put all the all of the um the games on the carousel it was nice and you should go to z3gaming.com right now to check it out you know just to see the beauty of the website because it's, it's beautifully designed I'm just saying it's made on WordPress you feel me and I've been doing this since like 2015 maybe or maybe 16 probably 16 and yeah, we got some cool stuff on there if you go you see my Hall of Fame I put games in the Hall of Fame almost every year I got all types of games in the Hall of Fame from different Hall of Fame classes I do Hall of Fame class every year bro the game of the year is all automatically in along with uh, a couple of other games that make it you know gta san andreas is in the hall of fame gta 5 is in the hall of fame uh what else mafia 3 is in the hall of fame the walking dead season one is in the hall of fame tales of the borderlands hall of famer uh borderlands 3 is a hall of famer what i'm trying to think of some other hall of fame who am I, who, who's not who's not getting taken out oh I forget. Only why I'm taking so long to take this fool out. This is a hard mode to use with this guy because he, he really can't fight on his own. This probably be easy CS. His stage time got kind of bad. It's not really a, he's not really a fighter. He's not a fighter's fighter. But uh, like Dante would probably wreck this whole thing. And Nero too, you know. They got they got more variety of what they can do. This yeah, with this guy, you know, you really. Depending on Shadow and Griffin. But yeah, my, you know, those are games. So I used to do Game of the Month. I don't do Game of the Month anymore. Now, I'm only going to do a Game of the Month if, if I uh, play a Xbox 360 game. And I put it up as a um, Game of the Month. And just basically if I'm reviewing a 360 game from the past, you feel me? Because uh, Game of the Month was stressing me out. To try to make an extra article a month about the game of the month especially when no one was actually looking at the website so it's like why am i putting all this effort and stressing myself because it was just it was becoming a lot to try to make a game of the month every month but it's okay it's all right i digress if i had like a team were helping me you know i would add somebody else you know do game of the month maybe i'll be maybe i would tell them what game to make the game of the month and then they would write about it that would be cool maybe one day so yeah for about four five four three i don't know however long basically i stopped doing game of the months in january 
this in 2020 but for that I was doing it every single month for a couple years and it's like this is hard to go through all that all the time but now I just drop reviews I drop two reviews a month of whatever games I'm playing so eventually a devil may cry video I mean not video a devil may cry review is gonna come out ironically um the day I'm recording this March 12th is the day I plan on writing the review. I actually beat uh, this game. When did I beat this game? I beat this game on Sunday, whatever Sunday, whatever day Sunday was. What is that? What is that? Uh, the eighth. I beat this on the eighth. Day of the elimination chamber. But right before the elimination chamber, like an hour before the pre-show, I beat this. And then um, either this is really easy or I don't know. <laughs> They for the elimination chamber I beat this and y'all so a review coming soon you feel me review coming soon I put a, a review like every the first of every month and the 16th of every month just basically how Xbox Live does it in addition I used to put out gaming news but you know that was when I very 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 first started I was putting out news I don't really keep up with gaming news anymore I had a I had literally a website, like an exclusive game website, that would like send you um presses, press releases, and they told you not to tell you, not to tell you, not to use them as a source. So yeah, and then sometimes they'll give you like free pictures, and then other times they'll give you watermark pictures, depending on like how exclusive. And I also have an email address where I get like stuff, WordPresses. Um, game presses from website. I still get them. You you actually have to um, you have to have credentials. You have to uh, sign up for it. You have to get uh you have to go through an application process and so they saw my website and they approved it and I was like that's pretty cool. They approved the the uh they approved it. They approved the um come on guys where you at? They approved the um they approved the website. And thought it was good. There was one company that didn't approve. I think it was WB. But eventually they actually approved it. Because I started getting emails from them. So like when The Walking Dead Season 4 came out. I actually knew before they actually made it public. And I had to keep it on the hush hush. And uh yeah. And Telltale used to send me free games. But they used to send me it on stream. And by the time they sent it to me. I already had the game on Xbox. And then one day I got bumped, I got, I got, I got bold and accidentally they can send it on Xbox. They ain't no reply though. <laughs> but, uh, they got shut down a couple, you know, they got shut down. But, uh, when they sent it on stream, I used to give it to my friend. They sent me Batman. They sent me The Walking Dead Season 3. And I can't remember if they sent me Season 4. I can't. But I know they sent me Batman and they sent me Walking Dead. That's the only ones I remember they sent me. I don't know if they sent me anything else. But yeah, and I still get press release. I get press release from Square Enix a lot nowadays. <laughs> That's the only one I remember getting them a lot. But I don't really check that email as much. But sometimes I do, you know, just to see some of the news. But yeah, I don't really put out news. The only news I really put out is the um, is the uh game of the the games of gold. I'll put out an article for that, and I'll put out an article for PlayStation Plus's free games. And other than that, that's it. And uh, yeah, the website started off as a Xbox exclusive website, so it was just Xbox games. You feel me? But it has now turned into a uh, you know Xbox and PlayStation. I put PlayStation. Why is he so hard? He must be a boss. Xbox. Whoa! I don't like how he's over here. Oh dang! That was me doing that. Okay, big big V. Hey, got some orbs, or, or, orbs, orbs bonuses. <laughs> but uh, okay, okay. Clear certain stages t in the bloody palace to receive bonus red orbs. The more time remaining on the timer, the more orbs you can obtain. Take down enemies with a style to rack up additional time. Okay, okay, okay. So we got ten stages in. That's cool. But uh, oh, okay. I don't even remember. Oh, games are going places, and then uh, oh my gosh. 
You know what I just realized? I ain't never brought out Nightmare. This whole time I was playing, I didn't bring out Nightmare. <laughs> My health's running low, so I'm about to, like, be eliminated. Come on, Nightmare, do something. But, yeah, really, I ain't got too much else to talk about. This could be a short just talking. <laughs> to be honest, it would be the, the shortest just talking. Cause my health is is very low. Oh, just got some health up, so we can do some more talking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me read. Hold on, how you read? I forgot how to read. Okay, yeah. He got to read to get his uh his superpowers back up, so I can bring Nightmare back again. It's not even going up. Somebody's here that we need to take out. Oh, this guy. Hello and hi there. Something, something, something last week. But yeah, um, for this, I want to play all. I want to play um. I want to play this mode with all three characters. So yeah, y'all should uh be on the lookout for two more just talkings while playing Devil May Cry's Bloody Palace mode. One with Nero, and one with uh. One with who else? Nero and Dante. <laughs> will be every other month. So next month it won't be this. I'll do something else next month, and then the month after that maybe I'll play this, and then you know so on and so forth. You dig what I'm saying? So like May. Next month's April. So April. I already got my game of the month plan off of April. And then May will be this again, if I remember. <laughs> That's a big if. I should. I hope I remember. And then uh, June, we'll see. And then July will be this again. Then August. I don't know. That'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be July. will be ended off with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then back to my website. I just thought of something to talk about on my website. And I can't remember what it was. How you like them apples? <laughs> I really can't remember. Oh, okay. On my website, I don't edit my reviews, so it's basically all first drafts. I don't read, I don't read it, I don't proofread it. I don't do nothing. I don't put no more effort into it. Really, nobody really on it. Nobody reading them. So what's the point? Like, if I was the like, would I blow up? You feel me? I'm gonna have an editor come in and edit every single review on that gym because <laughs> all of them need to be reviewed. I mean, edited and fixed up. And we got, and I'm gonna be like, bro, I don't remember what I was typing. I have no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> and I also, I tried to, when I first started, I only wanted to review, I, I only wanted to review games that I beat. So if I didn't beat it, I was like, bro, I get frustrated and be like, ugh. And I started with Dragon Ball Z Universe, Xenoverse. And I'm like, that's stupid. And then when I first started, also, you gotta believe that, like, there was a bunch of games, like, I was freestyling like i didn't remember what i did how to play those games you know, i was just typing anything like my sunset overdrive review is pretty garbage <laughs> pretty garbage but uh yeah but if i didn't so nowadays like i want to make a dragon ball z universe review so i'm gonna play it for like a couple hours and then just talk about it <laughs> that's it there's a couple of um reviews like that like where I don't fully, I don't, I mean, it's not like my full experience anymore because it's been so long since I played it. So, yeah, and then, like, how do you review a racing game? That's, like, the toughest game to review. Like, all you do is race. Because I got a freaking, I forgot what it's called. One of the, what is it called? One of them fours of the game, you know, that originally came with it. That was my very first Xbox game. I want to review that, too. Eventually, I'll get it. And then I, I, I do put the little disclaimer, like, yo, this is not, like, a for the review and then like online games games that are heavy online features i don't i don't i i literally say like this is not if you if you want an online if you want to review about the online mode this is not it this is exclusively a story a story mode review like for call of duties like you know i, I played the call of duties and battlefield i play it for the story so like i would like tell you like yo this is dumb. If you if you come in here for the online perspective of this game, I'm, I can't help you, bro. I'm, I didn't review it for the online, and that's also and along with the Z3 Gaming Awards is what the game review 
That's the uh, reason why I have a lot of games, man. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. But yeah, I, 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 I like to... I'm not one of those guys who just play for like three hours and like try to review every game. You feel me? I like to review them right. I like to play the entire game before I review it. So I can get my honest opinion. You feel me? You feel me? I don't know when this game. This, uh. What? The 16th is, I think, Monday? So, yeah, the by the time this video comes out, a new review will be out. Because I don't think I'm putting this out on the 16th. <laughs> so, y'all, it's what these Mondays. A new video coming out. I mean, a new review coming out Monday. But yeah, man, we digress. You feel me? We digress, bro. I'm too nice at this, bro. I ain't never gonna. I ain't never gonna fail. Look at my health going all the way back up, and I'm staying in the air, so it's not like I'm gonna get hit in the air. Stage clear. Stage cleared. Bonus. So we could go forever. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I don't even know what else to talk about. What else to talk about my website? If I get a switch, which I kind of low key want to get a switch, I'll um. I guess I'll add switch games. I just don't know how I'll get the screenshots because all the pictures on the websites are. Screenshots that I've I've gotten through the game. You feel me? And uh, this game right here actually doesn't let you screenshot. Um, see, I just took a screenshot just right, just like that. I just took a screenshot. This game actually doesn't let you screenshot. Um, tutorials, not tutorials. Don't like it. Doesn't let you screenshot cutscenes and out. That, that's a real bummer, bro. It's 2020. Let us. Like, why does it not let you do that? It it it, it uh, skips the cutscenes. Like, that's so dumb. It's almost like a pen it's like they're penalizing you. But uh, it, it, but I was still able to do it because they do have a gallery mode where you get to uh, where you can see you can see um, a yard sorry, where you could see you can see the missions over cutscenes over and then um when you see them over you can go ahead and I just uh so when I beat the game I just went through every cutscene and took one screenshot because it's gonna skip it and start back from the beginning anyway you feel me but yeah we're gonna try to get to like a level 20 that's why I brought out nightmare right there because I was like man's was getting a little rowdy I see Shadow and Griffin. Oh, you gotta eat. My boy wanna read? Alright, yeah, boy. My boy wanna read in the middle of battle. That look like a cutscene. I mean, a thumbnail right there. Homeboy reading. And that's a good enough reason. Uh, I guess I'm just talking about some life, not, not life stuff, but like gaming life stuff. My next game I want to play is Life is Strange 2. By the time I put this out, I'll definitely beat it. Because those games are... Them episodic games are quicker, are, quick, are, little, are quick to beat. So, yeah, I must but start that. I, must st I want to start that tomorrow, actually. Probably tomorrow night. Oh, obviously tomorrow night. But, like, late, late, late. Like, 1 o'clock or something. I'll start it. Play the first episode... Saturday played a second episode probably stream the third episode on twitch and this is a darn about this is a boss battle if I've ever seen one nightmare I need your help because I don't have any health I did not expect this <laughs> how am I supposed to clear this stage with no help lights and camera action yep I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to lose I don't got no health bro I don't got health or oops I got no health stuff around there. Nope, he got me. He got me. Well, we got to stage 19. Well, I know I gotta keep my health better because I get stage 20 gonna hit you with a boss battle. I didn't know that. I'm mad, bro. I wanted to get to 20. D? I was playing trash, bro. <laughs> they gave me a D rating, bro. That's tough. 
Yeah, well, he's not really built for a mode like this. Uh, v. Like Dante and uh Nero, even I'm gonna I'm gonna get I might get a I might get a double S with Dante, and I'll probably get an S or an A with Nero. But yeah, all right, we can wrap up the video right there. I was over here about to stall and talk about other stuff anyway. So yo, you already know. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoy this video, and um, I hope you enjoy this video. Here's another episode of Just Talking, where I just come here, casually play a game and talk. Sometimes it gets a little stressful. Y'all seen I'm taking videos, <laughs> but yeah, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, comment something cool, and I'm out. One.